let's see how we can save data into the database first of all we must have a form uh, so that we can fill and save them into the database I'll close all unnecessary file for now and we'll create our form here in the resource in the index for this one we have a book for the book I will create a folder here so I will write a book inside the book uh, I will create one file for the index that blur that PHP and of course it will extends layouts dot app and it will have a section with a content name and end section now other file will be the same like this I will just save as this one as a create dot blur dot PHP so it, it will be the create file now if someone come here it is the dashboard now uh, beside the con I will have an, uh, another link here to create a new book for uh, this one so I'll go to the layout I come down here I will just zoom out a little so that we can see uh, as you can see we have our name display here beside the name the ul finished here and we have another li then we have an a so for now let's see new book if I save it refresh the page it will display it here but we should give it a name I think uh, this is fine this is a and it should have a class of nav link or nav bar link as you can see here is the nav link and I refresh the page now it will display it here okay let's see it should be in the right side not in the in the left side not in the right side so I'll put it before the 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 code here now it will display it here if you click on this one it will not go anywhere for now so let's give them a URL in the URL right away here you can just open and use the route class or the URL class something like this the URL will send you to any URL you you specify for now where we are going to send I will come here and see the routes if I write PHP artisan route list it will list all the route for us for example we will uh, show the create one for the create one you can you can just come and say go to the book slash create I'll come here book slash create it will go to that URL for now if I refresh the page and click on this one it will go to the book slash create it will go here and it will open this file uh, it will reference to the controller of course it should go to the controller app HTTP book controller here to the create function it will call this one because we as you can see we said it should go to the create and the create will of course reference to the controller book controller at create function here as you can see the create function is empty if I echo something test and come to the browser refresh the page test it means we successfully can uh, return a view here something like this now what is the view for this one of course the view is in our view folder here we have book then slash create you can go to the book dot create you didn't write the bullet dot php because Laravel will do that by default for you and this is fine it will uh, reference to this view now if you have an h1 here or h2 here uh, let's say create new book or add new book refresh the page no add new book here it is this the page we want if I go to the home page it is here let's go to the home page and this is the home and this is the new book page I will put them inside a container so it should be in the center of the page I take the code and put it here I save and refresh now it is in the a little bit center of the page this is fine now you should have a form displayed here to create a your book here so I will 
as you can see the form is complete and it will show up like this let's see how it we create the form we open the form by using the form open and we specify the method of the form is going to be post and the route we are going to send is that book that is store if you look at the example here the 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 route list as you can see when you send something to the store the method should be post and it will uh, the url is the same thing uh, as book it will go to the store for function like this and the name should be uh, book that is store that's why we specify it here when you open the form you close it like this and then we have we are using the form uh, bootstrap for form classes like form group and form control for this one as you can see we have a text field for the name the second parameter for the text is going to be this, the default value it is null for now and for the text area the same thing we have description name the name of the field is description and the default value is null and you have applied an array of class and attribute the third parameter is going to be an array you can specify the html5 attribute like class placeholder anything you want so if you go to the code here and inspect element let's see what is our form look like here is the form if i open the form firstly uh, when we use the laravel collective form you can come read about it here uh, when you use this one it will automatically add another uh, field here a hidden field called token in every html in every laravel form you must have a token field here token will give you uh, the code here it is just the csrf token it is for uh, making your form secure making sure that your form is submitting from your own application it's not coming from outsiders so then we have our form group one we have placeholder for the name and uh, here is the text form and the other one is the text area as you can see and the last one we have our submit form the type is submit and it has a very default color for with, with bootstrap so i'll close this one for now as you can see it is just a basic form now let's see where it is going to send of course it will send to the store and let's fill some data if i write hello world here some text here and add this one it will send us to the store for now if i come to the store function the store function i have just added a line of code here dd means die and dump it will die and dump the request a request is the as you can see an instance of the request class the request class will send all the data that you have sent through the form or through the url with request you can get all of those data for now we say we submitted a form and those form and that form has a lot of data and you put all data on the request and you just dump the request out so if i refresh the page and continue it will send uh, those data and in the data you can uh, view the data here so where you can view them uh, if you open one of this I guess it should be the route user uh, session is here you can open it as you can see for now it will just send all of the token and some other things here for you but it should send uh, the data to the data we wrote on the form so if you don't see the data here you can come here and say request name means we just want to display the name field proper the name field uh, form from that data if i continue as you can see it will display the hello world and if you want to see the description this name is equal to the form field name this one so if you want to see the description resend the data and here is the description as you can see now we can come to the controller here we take the data and save them on the database let's see how you can how easily you can save them on the database it is very very easy you should know that we store them in our book table so i'll open the sidebar and see the book uh, model here here is a book model we will use this model the book and store data and the the table we want when you use the book it will automatically say that the the book is the model and the table name is books which is on the database 
so here is how you are going to reference them first of all it is in the app folder so you just write slash app slash then book here is the book and you say create using the create it is the eloquent function the create and you say request all when you say request all it will take all of those the re request the data i mean the name and the description and save them into the database for now if i come and refresh the page continue it will give me another error add token to the field property mass assignment exception if you receive this one this is a very common error when you receive this error it means you cannot directly uh, insert data into database unless you say i need this field the way you do is you open your model the book model and you have a protected fillable property here you write the protected fillable property and you can specify an array of data let's say you say that the name field and the description field on the database is going to be fillable means they can uh, if anyone use the create function you have the permission to let them fill the, those data the other data are not fillable when you say fillable it means you make them less secure that's why you just say uh, people can fill the data here so for now it is just fine if this time i come refresh the page and send the data nothing happened here if i go and log into my application here and see where if we have created the data or not going to the car and the books as you can see we have our data here let's try again let's give the name of any book like al chemist this is nice book a very basic description add nothing happen and refresh the page the second record is safe here now as you can see we can create the data here very easily now i can say return back means just redirect us back to where we were to the form or redirect us to anywhere we want redirect to the book page like that it will redirect us to the book page so for now okay i close this one this time if i refresh the page and let's give another book name so i will just give them an shakeable book of the tony robin this is also nice book so add the data now it will answer the data and it should redirect us to where we were redirect to the book and it did redirect to the book as you can see but in the book we have nothing so that's why it display nothing if you write any other url here it will of course show you that one so as you can see now we have it here so the video is going to be longer and the next video will continue our discussion